Well, I just think, again, it, 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 was a, it was a great hockey game. And uh, I was especially proud of our guys. I mean, we, we go down one right there. Bliss scores a heck of a goal. And, uh, but we responded. Lucas got a, a big goal. And I thought from there it was just, uh, um, again, it was just a, it was one of those games that, again, I'm not going to say it was a chess match, but it was pretty, it, it was like that. And, uh, and, and then we got that second goal. And I think we fed off that second goal pretty good. How big, oh, How big was that block shot at the end of the second period? Big time. And he, he, he felt it too. You know, he felt it, and uh, but that's the, what you. This time of year, you got to sacrifice, and uh, especially, especially us. Uh, you know what? We lose, we're going home. You know, Tech's going to be in the NCAA tournament. You know, but we're going home, so um, there's that much more on the line for us. How important was it to look at the previous games Tech played against Ferris and St. Thomas, where they get pretty well contained and shut out, and apply that to your own game? We didn't look really look at that. We've played Michigan Tech enough over the course of the last how many years, and. Um, Again, all the, diff, you know, ga- matchups and, and, and games with different teams are, 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 everything's different. I mean, there's teams that, um, again, we don't match up with, you know, it, and, uh, but I don't want to look at those things. We got to worry about us versus Tech. And, you know, quite honestly, right now, we got to worry about the Beavers. And uh, there's, obviously, there's a certain way we need to play. And, again, it, our situation is a little different. And this is playoff hockey, you know. And, uh, you know, granted, last weekend against Ferris, it was playoff hockey as well. But, um, to sit there and, and look at that game and try to obviously, again, you know what, put, put that into our game plan. We didn't. We didn't at all. It, just, it was just, uh, you know, what we need to do and, uh, you know, what, what we think we can do against Michigan Tech and, you know, staying on the right side of the puck, um, taking short shifts, just doing a lot of things because, again, they're deep. Um, they're very deep and uh, they got balance uh, in their lines and on the, on the decor and they get good goaltending. I mean, they just don't have many deficiencies, special teams. So there's a lot of things that we're not talking about other teams. We're just worried about, again, what we need to do in specific situations that are going to uh, potentially come up in the game tonight. Tom, uh, the last time you were here, you lose a pair of games in 5-2, 5-2. Talk about find, this team finding its identity over the last couple of weeks here and getting back to playing Bemidji hockey. Well, it, it, that's a good point there, Dave, because I thought we did tonight. We played Beaver hockey. We stayed on the right side of the puck. We had good puck management. Um, we were hard to play against. Uh, no, I, I thought we were we were we, we played pretty good overall, and uh, you know. But even in that, you know, those five to two games, the, the one five to two game, we played really well. But it, Tech was, uh, I mean, Tech was just so they were at a different level that weekend, and they really were. And we had a hard time. And I thought we played pretty darn good hockey, and we lose five two five two. Um, but I also felt if we could also, uh, you know, what, uh, you know, duplicate that type of effort that we had that Saturday night against Michigan Tech, we could be in, we, we we could be fine. So much of this is. Uh, you know what, getting a lead and, and, and playing off that lead and getting timely goaltending and, and things like that, as you guys know, too. So, How important has it been for Schultz to make the big step up here in the last series against Bowling Green and here against Tech? If, you want to, if we want to advance on, if we need, uh, you have to have goaltending. And that's anybody. If you, want to, if you want to like play at a high level and you want to keep advancing on the NCAA tournament, you're going to need goaltending. Well, if we have any chance of getting to the NCAA tournament, we need we, we need goaltending. So and to win a championship, to win a championship, you need goaltending. And uh, so um, no, Matias is seeing the puck well. He's confident, and uh, it, it's uh, he's 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 a big puzzle piece right now. Was it any different this weekend, prepping for a win and go home game versus a best of three like it usually is? This yeah, it's different, guys. But one thing I want to make sure that I, I was talking to Dirk about this today. Guys, this is no different. You got to remember, this is a Final Four, so all Final Fours. We think it's like this is brand, you know, this brand new tournament format. All this is is a, a Final Four, but it's spread over two weeks. But it's the same thing they're doing, you know what, in the Big Ten, or they're going to be doing, you know, in the Hockey East, in the ECAC. They're they're they're, they're ones, you know what, they're they're, you know, ones, and the the team that wins advances on. So really, it's no different. Now, in saying that. Um, the one thing you don't have to, you know, worry about probably as much as your bench. You know, you can probably play guys a little more, especially with the TV timeout. So there's a different mindset. I think the biggest thing is is that the mindset is different in a one and done. Probably the, you know, what versus, you know, what you might do tactically. Um, do you like personally the new format? I love it. It's a it's a right thing to do. Like you need to like final fours are good, and these one game shots are are, are good. So um, no, I, I really like that. It's a good format. I think we've, the coaches have probably wanted it for a long time. Uh, and, uh, no, it's just, uh, you know, these two out of threes, you, you, you put them two weeks, and then, you know, we're the only league that does it. 
you know, or did it in the past. And it, it, can, uh, it can be pretty fatiguing and uh, it can be tough on your players. And uh, there's just a lot, it, a lot that goes into it. And uh, I really like the format. And um, it's, uh, it's, it's, you know, I think personally we'd love to have a Final Four. But we just don't have a, probably a good neutral site to have a Final Four. So this is the best thing to have the, the, uh, the, one, the one game semis and then the one game final on campus. Uh, talk about Lucas. Obviously, he seems to be uh, really enjoying playing in this building right now. Yeah, he's had some success over the course of the, of the last few games, and that was a big goal today. You know, he answered back, and um, it was it was a it was. Tom, a, you're muted. What's that? You're muted. Well, I. Uh, Has this been muted the whole time? There we go. Can you hear us? Yes. Ask Coach a question. Yeah, you can ask. I'm sorry about that. You know what, guys? I actually just lost my train of thought. What question did we, we just have? Oh, Lucas, oh, Lucas yeah, is cool. He's been putting in, but especially yeah, with the goal game tonight. And yeah, that was a. I mean, Lucas. Luke, that was that was a clutch goal. Obviously, we answered back pretty close. Um, and it wasn't that far after the, their goal, and uh, it was just a good individual play. And Lucas, Lucas does that. He's, uh, you know, he's got. He, I think he had, he had really good body control right there, and uh, and again, he got that. He got it on net. I don't know if. Uh, I don't know if Pietel was screened or not, but I'd have to look at it. But it was a, it was a big time goal, and obviously, really, uh, it lifted up the bench. That's for sure. Tom, you took your time out in the first period. What did you see early on in the game to use your time out there? Well, it was the minute to go, and uh, we had our fours out there, and they had their ones. And I wasn't going to play. I wasn't going to play games right there. I just that was that was my call. Um, did, did I, did I want to burn that time out that early? No, but I also I just I had to go with my gut, and that's what I did. And, you know, whether it's, you know, in my, in my opinion, it was the right call at that, at, at that particular time. What's, what's the next step for Beaver Hockey going into the championship game? Do you just try to stay with what you're doing? Or yeah, do that's all we can do. St stick with what you're doing. And the other team always has something to say about it as well, by the way. And, uh, you know, I'm going to worry about that on Monday. I think right now we're just going to enjoy this win, have a good, uh, have a good trip back to, to Bemidji. And, uh, and we're just we're excited to be playing in this game on, on Friday. And uh, excuse me, on Saturday. Uh, so we're excited about that. I mean, I told a few of the players in the, in the line, we'd love nothing more than to join Mankato and Michigan Tech in the NCAA tournament. It would be outstanding, you know, and uh, great for our league to ha to, for that as well. So we'll see what happens. And uh, we like where we're at right now. And uh, we're excited about moving on. And well, again, like I said, we'll worry about that, guys, on Monday. How valuable is it to have another week to rest, relax, reset before you play that championship game? Yeah. Um, I mean, again, we played one game, so I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't really. I haven't, I'm not putting any thought into that, and uh, it just that's just the, it's the format, guys. So I mean, you know, you just deal with you just deal with the rules the way the rules are, and uh, no, we, biggest thing is is just you know we got to take take some time off next week, and we're back in school, and you know, and just biggest thing is is and we're, and we're, we got some banged up guys right now that, that we have some guys that played guys that normally wouldn't wouldn't have played tonight. And uh, so the, the, that's my biggest thing is that those guys get an extra week um, right now to heal up a little bit. What does it mean for your fan base to be in the uh, PCHA championship? Game? Well, I think it's exciting. I mean, we, we, we've been up and down this year. We have a good hockey team. And um, we, didn't probably play up to, we probably didn't play up to our potential. And, uh, and that's just the way it is. But you know what? The guys are they're finding their groove right now. We're playing good hockey right now. And now we just got to let it play out. Um, your top line got all uh, five goals tonight. How important has it been to have them uh, groove and combine together this season? Well, again, you know what? We, we, there's no question. Those guys are they're a big they're a big part of our offense. Um, and when you when we get secondary scoring, that really helps too. But uh, again, right now we're not too worried about who scores as long as somebody's scoring. And that was I'll take five from those guys tonight any day of the week. Yeah, Tom, they've been so huge, you know, for you all year, but today they took it up to an entirely different level. How big was it, especially getting that third one when it had been such a tight game throughout? Well, big time. It gives you a little more breathing room, Christian. I mean, uh, yeah, obviously two goal leads. <laughs> it was one goal leads. I mean, I, I, I told the guys on the bench, was, I think it was 7-10 or 7, well, there was a timeout with 7-10, 7-15. I just, you know, I just wanted to make sure, too, that we just kept pushing, though, too. I just didn't want us to sit back and defend for seven minutes. I mean, we, we needed to forecheck. Um, we needed to do some. We, we needed to we needed to play in the offensive zone, and and our guys did. I was happy about that. I, I thought they I thought they played pretty mature. You know, when we had that two to one lead, 
We didn't sit back. We kept our foot on the gas pedal. Obviously, there's certain, um, I mean, obviously, there's certain standards you need to play with with a lead, but, uh, and then we, we got that next one to go up three, uh, three to one, a little more breathing room, and, you know, then it gets dicey. You know, they pull it. They pull the goalie, and uh, it gets, can get dicey, too, and, you know, we, it just does, and uh, you hang on a little bit, but uh, we, stu we stuck with it. We stuck with it when they pulled their goalie as well, and uh, I was proud of the guys for that, too. Yeah, in that vein, how big was it? You know, like you said, they didn't sit back, they got a fourth, and then, you know, when they pulled the guy, they even got another one, and that was 5 1. Yeah, so no, I was, uh, no, at that time, it just, uh, we just, you know, we, we just kept playing. We just kept playing, Christian, which is good. And, uh, and uh, again, we just, uh, you know, we did a, we, we, we responded well. We responded well getting the lead. Um, and then when we had the lead, I thought we, we responded even better.